Hello everyone, we're going to be going through many different posts on the R. Kurosanji subreddit. A lot of these are going to be drama posts and opinions and allegations and such. Unless there is other proof, take it as an opinion piece and take it as allegations. And I will have as many sources as possible. But if no sources are there, then that means it's just an allegation, a shiitake post, whatever you want to call it. It is to be taken as an opinion. Thank you. So here we go. We're talking about something. Breaking news. Pretty much exclusive to here at this moment. Of course, other people might talk about it later, but exclusive to here at this moment. Uh, MSM Talent, who is a large talent agency, well, large enough that they have Porcelain Maid, Buff Pup, Giga, uh, before, of course, before Giga went to, uh, you know, uh, Vishojo, Pyre, Lucy Pyre, Pumpkin Potion, Heavenly Father, Vienna, Shia Bun, Nags we have down here. We have RPR. Uh, we have, you know, Over Eggs, Over Easy Eggs, Ni Ni Nimune, King of Kazoos. A lot of, a lot of big names, a lot of big names. Like I know Heavenly Father always goes with the Vishojo girls. So a lot of big names. They've been called out recently. It has been a huge call out on social media by, um, and you know, this is their actual social media here. You can find it here at Talent MSM. They first, I first found out about this through someone that told me uh, about this in chat and everything. So here we go. This is what uh, is put out on here. It says Crimbo tweets with proof of MSM's contract. Lack of business license and proof they have been actively blacklisted. They have actively blacklisted other VTuber groups and S talk other agencies and corpos. And of course, we're going to the actual thing because 4chan has a way of making things up sometimes. So we're going to the actual thing. Uh, the actual thing being the uh, the post here, the status post here. <clears throat> this post says Seth from MSM is in court today, getting sued again. So this time, did you think you could trash and make up lies about folks I care about in the South Side as well? Kokui, Takahata, False ID, Mythic Talent, Most Critical, and people who wouldn't talk? I got something for you. So this is May 3rd. This is today uh, in 8.27 8 a.m. So this is pretty freaking fresh. We have uh, basically forfeited. This business is not in good standing. What does this mean? A business entity is not in good standing. It says Department Action Forfeiture. So they forfeited their goods, I'm, guess I'm guessing. Mad Scientist Media LLC, official document. And it's saying right here, it's showing right here, that they are uh, incidental damages, including but not limited to loss of profits arising out of any performance, non-performance under this agreement. It said, uh, basically, Seth, based on sort, li strict liability, on tort, strict liability, warranty, contract, or any other legal theory, all notices, accountings, and payments from either party must be in writing, delivered personally by certified mail or others as follows. To the manager here, the artist is also, of course, removed. This is the, the actual contract over here on the left read and understands this agreement in its entirety client acknowledges that if they had any questions about their rights or duties under the agreement they had the opportunity to have the agreement read to them and you know fixed to them he's goes on even further he says this picture illustrates msm has been signing contracts to an llc that's been in forfeiture since 2022 so they don't they don't have an active llc they don't have an active business license more so he hasn't even bothered to file or pay taxes Clearly, he was still in MD in Maryland, receiving money without paying a dime of his taxes. I wonder what the controller would think. Because the LLC was forfeited during these signings, it means none of these contracts are enforceable. It is a company that doesn't exist, so these contracts are no longer enforceable. You put your talent in a position to have no legal protection from the LLC, how incompetent. How, how is Charlie involved? He was bragging in call about how Charlie hates him. He thinks he has some rivalry with Charlie. I bet he doesn't know who the F Seth is. It's basically, yeah, he was, he was making beef with Charlie. So this is craziness right here. I almost forgot this little gem, which was in addition to here. It's, it shows, you look at the official MSM Facebook, you can see it was locked out presumably by an ex-business partner who he feels was scammed. And here is the whole thing. Message like, Paige, I will F you over. Hell, am I, United States, you know, Michigan, not yet rated. So he was blocked out of this, apparently, from what this guy is saying. And down here, it goes further. You suck... P you suck people in with false promises. You use publicly accessible tools anyone could use to get them sponsorships. And you take what 15% according to your contract. It also appears you're under you under negotiate so you can net more than 15% then get everyone properly negotiated deal. So here he says, talks very well as if he's all this experience and he knows best. And I believed him at some points that he would really help me. Yes, some of this is true. There were never deals that really came to him, mostly from website like we hype and lurk it from what I've seen. So he took credit for deals you got from We Happen Lurk It, which anyone can use, and anyone and you made you feel like he was doing nothing. Damn. Uh, also found your old Twitter. It's funny how you s on feminism, Black Lives Matter, LGBTQ, 
And as soon as you think you can make a dime off of it, you partner with black woman run coffee shop and brag about it. F you, you a f you, you f ass prick. All lives matter, feminism is cancer, Trump sucks, and nobody said understand the way things work. You f's. And I know Seth manipulated a lot of folks, and some of them helped him grow his little group of mean girls, but I'm not interested in them. They have about a week or two to make things right, reach out and apologize to people they've hurt before I get before I get interested and post more info. So this guy is on a war, it's, he's on a he's on a war path. He's Definitely on a warpath. He is angry here. And it says the MSM blacklist is real. He used this exact tactic with me and my friends. And we lost a ton of friends because he manipulated them with false information. And this is Kokui, 3 a.m. Kokui is a big one. Kokui is a, a big creator. It's right here. She has 9,000 followers, but she's she's a good creator. And she lost out on a bunch of friends because of manipulated information. Friends that you'll probably never get back. No one even came to talk to us. They just believed his lies and spread. Uh, it effing hurts. The past few months have been hard. Why stop there? You actively broke up friendships and told your talents who they should work with and who they should stay away from. Like Takahata101, who is generous and helps start a lot of careers. But I say about Taka, like, just be careful with Taka. The general chat was more like a click. Let me see. Yep. You suck people in. Uh, and, and then it continues with what I read before about sucking them in with false promises. It's just really so messed up. This whole thing is so very messed up. Kokui now doesn't have a lot of friends that she used to have. Um... And it's really, 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 truly messed up that these things are happening. And uh, yeah, the, uh, talking about the whole thing that we've talked about before, uh, no one's really responding to a lot of these things. Uh, it's just, you know, um, everyone involved with Seth, MSM talent, would F off and leave them alone. After he tried to get their reputations destroyed, smear their reputations, but every few weeks we hear a new thing he did to F someone over. This is, this S, S ends now, dude. I'm not letting you go. So he's angry. Because I have people genuinely like or I'm a fan of M an MSN, but I also have known Rumi the Boss, which is right here, uh, which has 2000 and Kokui for many years. They both are upstanding people and try their hardest for better people every day. And I'd be damned if I'm going to let you spend spread fake rumors about them. This is also on May 3rd. Breaking character for a second. Love you, man. Thank you. And yeah, protect Kokui at all costs. Literally no kinder or more hardworking person in this whole damn scene. Stay strong and keep rising above. Kokui is a gem. I, or Koki, Kokui, Koki. They're a gem. <clears throat> they are amazing. Love you too, dude. I won't let some twerp slander either of you or anyone in the South Side for that matter. Uh, this is the first time, a lot of people, it's the first time of hearing of this. Was during Konnichiwa 2023. She was such an awesome guest. So awesome that I actually want her to come back if possible. Though I kind of wished I'd met Rummy the Boss as well. I'm sure I had a hell of an awesome time with him. I know all of them since the beginning of VTuber era. And we're all one of the most passionate and hardworking person to keep improving every time. I don't know what's going on, but Krimbo's on the case. I'm glad that Krimbo's on the case. I'm glad that I was informed of this. Um, and it says that for some random S head to spread fake rumors about them, highly despicable and disrespectful, both Kokui and, Ru and Rumi are both awesome, very kind people. Um, so yeah, this, this, is, this is a lot of information that's just popping up. And it says here, Seth can try every trick in the book to shut me up, but people are starting to talk, compare notes, scrutinize things he said and done. No matter what happens to me, you can't stop the conversation. People are going to find out what little manipulative weasel you are. And that is right now, so far, what's going on. Uh, Seth, as from what I've seen, has not said anything. They are not doing anything. And VT is going insane about this. It's like, Kokui is a pretty big indie, averaging as a four view, even only a barely big enough to be one of the biggest indies. She's doing a lot. Like, our streamed, uh, she gets, you know, game streamed, that kind of thing. She's doing a good job. Average viewers, a thousand average viewers, peak viewers of 3,000. She is doing really, really well. And it sucks that because some random guy, some dude that she doesn't even really know, d decided to start spreading bad rumors about her or bad rumors about other people, friendships that maybe she's had for years no longer are friendships. They're no longer friends because, you know, the well has been poisoned. And that is not right. I don't like that. And that's why I'm covering this. There are a lot of companies that are good or bad. There are some good ones like Hololive that has done some bad things. And, you know, Idle EN and Face Connect and those that seem to be going on a little bit more of a positive end. And there are bad ones. This is a bad one. Earlier this year, the end of 2023, uh, the December 31st, an EN Taiwanese VTuber called Colin Palladio, Palladio from Taiwan has graduated from FBA, Real Company Solid Designs, Inc., uh, with bitter note exposing the shady and unlawful practices this company was carrying uh, since he started streaming as Colin Palladio from 22nd of March, uh, from 22nd of March, 2022. He was warned by people to stay away from this company as the company has threatened him financially, held him hostage, gaslit him, and many more accusations. 
The company has, of course, denied all allegations, refusing to delete the Colin Palladio channel, as well as his Twitter and other socials, even after the person behind the character has legally requested them to be taken down. Two days ago on May 3rd, a short came out of Colin Palladio's channel, possibly using AI as the person behind the character has mentioned multiple times the company threatened him to use AI to replace him. And even though he said multiple times in the stream that they do not have the legal right to do so, only further giving him credit to his accusations. Now, apparently the reason why he's not seeking to sue the company is because he lives in Italy and the company's being in Taiwan will cost him too much money and he may not even win because Taiwan's poor legal system. Underneath, you may see the post in English written by the person called pa Colin Palladio and uh, he's discussed about the situation more in detail on his streams, now going by the name of Mal Range or Mo. Still streaming once in a while, though he mainly focuses on writing his novel. Can't wait for him to make it. He has warned people again and again about staying clear from this company. And why this? Uh, are, I'm posting this so as per his wish, people can be careful and not fall into the death trap like he did. He has moved on from the whole ordeal and does not want the company is still posting videos using his voice. It's not like it. it doesn't know why. Uh, please don't tell him or let him know. He doesn't wish to think of that company. But if any of you wish to support him, please go and show him support. He's still recovering mentally and physically as someone would. Uh... In you know, uh, someone who saw him at his lowest, he seems to be doing so much better now. So, okay, we're going to do one thing here, which is go to Solid Designs, Inc. This one, we're going to copy paste. We're going to go here, take a look at Solid Designs Home. This is the company that we're talking about. Their portfolio uh, is specifically, I think this is the one. Uh, nope, this isn't the one. Fuck, let me find the one. This is the Solid Designs that he's a part of. Not the Solid CAD design, not the, the CAD design stuff, not that. It is CG and visual effects. Their works. They're doing Solid Park. They're doing VTuber stuff here, as it's mentioned right here. Their VTuber services, VTuber specialties. Uh, virtual YouTuber known as Virtual Streamer. Um, the VTuber is a content creator, so they're doing this. They're doing uh, kind of AR type of stuff as a new form of media, which generally created everyone's understanding of film and television. So yeah, they're showing, you know, they create the VTubers for you, practical processes and service items regarding Solid Design VTuber business. Provide related services from planning, character design, 2D and 3D production, to venue, equipment, rental, etc. All process and details are described below. So they go through everything, the whole process of creating and designing and doing everything with your VTuber, according to what they're saying. Awareness of VTuber has allowed many people in the world who may not be blessed as others in terms of aspects, but like basically beauty, but can do all these things. They go through character design and production 2D and 3D. Uh, planning process set the character's personal information and per personality they create it through their 3d designs live 2d to draw each part of the character separately and then use it as a component to create 3d like motion basically they can do your live 2d stuff these are all the people that they have under them shion lee ruro Sally park bill all these people that they have under them this is their specific uh brand that they have let's go over what he's saying right now what he's saying and showing right now is this this is what the person is showing as colin up here he's saying happy new year and merry goodbye thanks again for everyone's support and i hope in another life to meet you all again this is when he was leaving he says here he shows this he says it is with my greatest joy that i say i'm finally freed from the shackles of colin palladio the past year and a half has been of lies ridicule denigration dishonor gaslighting from the company behind this character a year and a half of constant emotional and financial hostage held by those in the company in all the hours sleepless nights and my efforts had been deemed unnecessary, valueless, worthless by the company, as well as all those who had helped make this character. But not only that, I am more than happy to learn from you, pie apples, that the Taiwan they had taught me is not that of losers with no money, but to save face will still donate. The Taiwan they had taught is not a country of talentless people that has no creativity and are good to be office drones. That the Taiwan they taught is not a country of little bees and snowflakes that cannot or are not able to maturely discuss about real world matters. Because you, Pie Apples, have proved to me you are capable of maturity, creativity, ingenuity, and honesty. You have shown yourself to be some of the most supportive people I've ever met, the most protecting people I've ever met, and the most united people I've ever met. But I said this before, and I will say it again. The only thing you lack is, it's not strength, it's not voice, it's courage. Courage to change, to show yourself, and to stand for yourself, and to have the courage to prove me wrong, Taiwan. Uh... To not fear a system so blatantly built against the weak and poor. That you are not just a bunch of talentless drones. You are not just a bunch of superficial blanks. That is nothing to, it, yeah, you know, that has nothing to learn about. Because that is what they taught me from the very beginning. The company itself taught him that kind of stuff. So people responded, I'm saddened to hear this news, not because of your graduation, but the treatment that you had to endure by those behind the scenes, which is the worst part of all. Of course, the year with your pie apples and, you know, People were saying, you know, positive things about him. After the whole year of financial hostage, I finally sought 
the help of a lawyer has become very clear to me that not only were they wrong, but they were actually criminal, according to what he is saying. He says, during the first meeting in months, during a one-on-one -on -one meeting, I had been demanding what they promised for months with no answer and no actions. Demanding to know where they had spent all the money earned, what the team promised, the backbone promised, the 3D model promised, the help of all reassurances promised by them. I was told to just follow what is written on the contract and it being unreasonable for demanding such things because nothing that they had promised was written in the contract and that he had, doesn't remember ever being backhanded towards me. He says, too old for these kinds of things. Every meeting, whenever I spoke to him, I would receive childish remarks uh, such as your abilities are not that great. Your achievements uh, is thanks to the team. Um, when I was the one training them about what was needed for the streams. And that day on, basically saying, you know, he's saying they were, um, they try to cut him out. They try to cut all the negative, the, the things out from him. I only called one person. I do not know what a team is made of, of one person, but apparently in their world, one single person is a team. So cutting me out because I am not part of your company, but you're a cooperator and cutting out the head of the company because you are the owner of the team is not a member. The team promised to support me as one person. And then he decided to move on. And he says, I tried to stay to give those behind the company yet another chance uh, near the bottom. Uh, because of the past year, help gaslighting me, the price of Taiwanese artists were stupidly high and it would take months of time. So telling me that the average price of YouTube Clippers ranged from 20,000 to 35,000 Taiwanese dollars, about 650 to 1,000 euros to make 10 minute video. Uh, you know, he's saying the prices uh, of drawing are always above 1,500 euros or less. You want them to look like, unless you want them to look like children's paintings. Uh, he says, also I showed them some artists I drew, I knew, which were very close in quality, a reasonable price of 200 300 for drawings. I have even some clippers that would take full-time and part-time jobs as clippers for $800 a month. So he was being told fake things. He was being given too much pricing, uh, too high a price. On 2-14-2023, during the meeting, I had also given them my second chance, my ultimatum, where I just demanded the very basics of things, what they had promised, or I will stop all activity. They requested the 3D model to be deducted uh, in the meeting as they wouldn't be able to make it in time. So he didn't get a 3D model. He was just getting the, the live 2D from it looks like. Fortunately for me, it was it was tasked uh, to use my own connections to find my own artist to save the money given to them by fans and to give back to the community. But I was wrong. I was also wrong. Uh, the 2.0 model was out. Um, I was completely defeated. Simply couldn't do it anymore. That's when he decided to leave. Uh, stopped contacting them because I no longer trusted any of their words uh, in June 2023. So he had already started to decide to leave around June 2023 from what it looks like. Because the contract is so many loopholes, my lawyer described it as a joke. We've heard this a lot. We've heard this about um, V Reverie. We've heard this about V4. You know, all the ones that whacked her and all those that say that they're basically the contract is a joke. They put so many loopholes in there that there's just too many jokes in there. It's uh, it's something we've heard again and again and again, even about the Nidisanji contract. You have given me so much to sue already. I don't want, need more proof. And the company will continue to spread rumors, lies, etc. Says, oh yeah, like insinuating the effing marshmallow death threat was fabricated, not a single one. Uh, so from the company even came to check on the issue, having the gall to insinuate I was staged, insinuating F and a liar. Uh, yeah, basically insinuating he was lying, insinuating he wasn't telling the truth, insinuating all these other things were happening. So much as simply kind of summarize a year into this, this is the person, a potato lord is talking about the situation. The final thing is when I said, keep streaming because of your fans, I never lied about it once and had no reason to even lie because it was the simplest truth. In addition to this, I only know I learned the many un unjust, not to just myself, but even to my fans. And I beg those who are still in contact with those fans who in the past received damages to tell them I'm sorry, I wasn't able to protect them. So this is the person who really loves what he does, really loves what they were able to do and was hurt by them a lot hurt by them fully over everything that happened. And this person translated everything that they wrote in, ta in Taiwanese um, into, which is down here, into English to make sure that both sides got to see everything that happened. And I do appreciate that because it does mean a lot. And it is very important to see this, to see the full side. This person went through a lot. This person experienced a lot. And I'm glad that they're doing much better as this person here, Mo H, Mindless Mo. They, they have a small following, but they seem to be doing much better. They seem to be productive, creating new content, creating new things for their fans and for people who love them. A little bit of a background on V Reverie because we're gonna be talking about something that's happening in V Reverie. Uh, basically it says, management sucks, all the talents love each other and support each other. The company is a sole problem. Go support the talents in their new lives. Uh, basically, Haru, Haru Hotaru Yora, 95% sure, but can't get confirmation. Nova Akami removed all these people like basically had a lot of bad situations happen uh tcg sponsorship she likely leaves certain if she plans on leaving her twitter doesn't have a twitter here uh ophelia midnight i remember her 
Uh, she literally sang last cup of coffee before graduation in mods pulled Doki Bird style revolt to spread the word of her. Currently using a temporary model. Lilira Prisville, I remember her. Streaming with her sister who appeared on her channel before. We have Cherry Lupina, who is Brie Alt Cookies from way back in the day. Um, and Amy, Amy Amaya Whisper, Erica, these guys, every single one of these, they've all left or are going to be leaving soon or everything like that. Basically, the short end of the stick is management sucks. Clear that wasn't great before, but the last straw appears to be October 24th, 2023. Uh, all alt accounts of the talent started posting vague posts about stress and stuff after that point. Some people have told me that this because management failed to properly support them. So management didn't support them. They were under a lot of a lot of stress and uh, Brialt Cookies had the status there. Cherry and Ophelia complained that the is management after leaving, describing how even the most basic things the new managers do is better than what they did before. Over here, basically bad management, which is what's happening with uh, people like Nidhi Sanji. Every single one of them talked about how painful the decision was to leave, but the fact is they're getting a lot better treatment now. The possible exception of Erica, because maybe an NDA. Try that birth of camels back was yesterday. Lyria and Rana had streams scheduled for yesterday that were announcement streams. Ah, it's the one that, that announced it before they could announce the announcement stream. Uh, v Reverie's Twitter dropped the graduation announcement for all three. Akiko wasn't aware of the announcement. I remember that one. We covered that one in a, a video in the back day. So yeah, it's only bad stuff. We'll take a look at them. This is where they are now. Valentin is here. Umi is here. Nani, uh, Ruru and Rumi, VTuber sisters are here. Brialt Cookies. I watch Brialt Cookies, actually. She's really good. Uh, I'm sub to her. Brialt Cookies. I also, you know, occasionally I send you guys over there to Brialt Cookies because she's a good streamer. So I occasionally, if she's on at the time that I'm on, uh, we will send, I send you guys there. You know, we have Amaya Whisper. <clears throat> you know, she's doing her own things. Uh, Freya, uh, Lida Oriana, uh, Raylia Lace, Bree, back here. I hope people know I didn't come crawling back from graduation as I saw one person say this wasn't a hiatus, this was a graduation. But then I went through the worst possible effing months of my life and I got even more trust issues as seemingly possible, so I came back. I think graduation is serious. I would never play with people's emotions like that and say graduation of any inkling of plan to come back. I mean, hell, I deleted literally all of my models and all my assets from my PC. I had nothing left. I wasn't sure if I should post some main about us talking but i figured just keeping to tweet was best people wouldn't see it so yeah basically she she did the whole back and forth but it was more the reverie that forced her to do the back and forth uh it says um basically people were like gucci doesn't lie to me and gaslight me when then ghost me for weeks and that's hype too never had a manager even bother to watch my content in the past let alone care about me work with me in ways that suits my workflow and methods and best actually care about my success so they have good management now unreal how often i get so happy and thrilled if i feel like in the most basic things like most of the time a manager told me good work today i almost cried so these people are having just bad management overall and why am i talking about this whole situation these whole things here don't tell me they dropped the notice out without telling you first they did for akiko they did. So why am I talking about all this as a prep? Salmon Lordette is now leaving the Reverie. She'll be graduating due to a health situation. What is this health situation? Right here. It's saying, thank you for supporting V Reverie and Salmon throughout the months she has been with us. It is with great sadness that we announced the graduation of Salmon Lordette. Throughout her time with us, Salmon has been an invaluable part of V Reverie family with her bubbly yet endearing personality, bringing smiles to her Salminians, be it through her silly league streams or luring ASMR streams. However, Salmon has had challenges with her health and has recently taken a health hiatus to pursue treatment, which has thankfully been effective. However, while she is on the path to recovery, we understand that her condition will require attention and care to properly make full recovery. After discussing multiple options and alternatives to balance both her health and passion, this really seems like a PR thing, actually. Uh, passion for streaming. Both Salmon and V Reverie will have come to the difficult conclusion following a graduation to allow Salmon to fully focus on her health and recovery. As a talented and unique streamer and entertainer, we deeply appreciate the time Salmon has spent with us and all her Salminians, forging memories that will last many years to come, her positive spirit leaving her unique mark on each and every one of us. We wish her the best of health and hope for her success in all future endeavors. She will be holding her graduation on the 20th of May, 2024, and will be streaming as her health allows in weeks leading up to her graduation. Her YouTube channel will remain up. All her memberships will automatically be canceled at the end of the May. So it'll be canceled at least. Uh, kindly note that all purchasable merchandise, voice packs, salmon will also be closed after the graduation. More information, blah, blah, blah. People down here are saying it's very unfortunate that you are not allowing salmon to keep her IP. Other talents, I understand, but salmon's model and persona were around way before she joined you. So they're forcing her to 
to give away her IP to them to make sure that I guess they kind of try to neuter any kind of success that she'll have in the future. Try to stop any, uh, you know, her becoming strong like Brielle Cookies, like Akiko, like other people. Uh, this isn't fair. It isn't fair to her. Like they say, she was there way before this happened. She was there way before this. So they're not letting her keep her IP, which is very sad. She's best be allowed to retain her IP. She created it long before joining you. You shouldn't continue to keep it. Her IP is very valuable to her and worthless to you. If you're not accusing her of any wrongdoing, why keep it? If Salma doesn't keep her IP, I've lost the last hair respect for re-reverie. Please make changes that put your talents first for once. Thanks for all the pain and suffering you have caused. Not just your fans, but your talents too. I wish the best for Salmon and the worst for those who have harmed each other in everyone every time. It says, also oh, this is how we find out non-expiring links just means until the talent graduates. Cool. Way to just tack on that graduation announcement. After all, why make two announcements? Also give Salmon her IP back. So everyone wants Salmon to have her IP back. And I do agree with that. And um, I do hope these, uh, this person asks, you know, what should be able to retain her IP? Hope these discuss for both talents and your sake. As a large legal contingency is that often in the eyes of whatever someone graduates an IP they brought into a corporation. She already has another account called Raylia Knight Lace. It seems they forced or tricked her to sell her IP. She had to create a new one outside of this V-Couchmar. This V-Couchmar is a nightmare outside of this nightmare. And um, V-Couchmar is just a regular person, but V-Couchmar is actually means, um, you know, a nightmare. I forget in what language, but it means nightmare. So yeah. They won't be giving her back her IP or contract that apparently belongs to them. So she sold her IP probably for pennies on the dollar. And now she can't get it as she is actually leaving. Which sucks for everybody. I would make sure not to do that unless you get a large amount of money. You know, like 20000 or whatever for your IP. Because it's definitely going to be worth that to them while you're actually there. Ibuki Bjorn's graduation from Globy. Globy does not seem to be a bad organization yet, as far as we know. Of course, it just takes one person to say something in order for all of that to switch. So it could be that they are found out to be bad in the future, but are not bad now. Right now, let's see what the official statement says. I try to get it as close as possible, but this is as close as it'll get for whatever reason. Dear Cubs and Globy supporters, it is with a heavy heart that we are announcing the, the graduation of Ibuki Bjorn from the Globy. The decision has been reached jointly between Bjorn and management team he will always be a member of globy in our hearts and we will continue to support him in all his future endeavors we would like to thank you thank him for being a thoughtful and kind person to work with as well as supportive and generous genmate wow that's actually very nice over the past month bjorn has been on a hiatus taking time to recuperate from an illness however it's been decided that graduation would be best for him and his current circumstances so that's good it's good that they both came to that conclusion bjorn's youtube channel will remain open so that the audience can have access to his vods However, options such as monetization, memberships, and super chats will be disabled, and a Streamlabs account will be deactivated. We sincerely apologize for any sadness that this announcement can cause. Please know any decision was reached with careful consideration for Bjorn's long-term well-being and after discussion between Bjorn and management. Sincerely, Globy Management Team. It's been here. It says, hope everything is okay and he gets feeling better. Bjorn, I hope you're able to feel better soon. Health issues are no joke. Please put yourself first and take the utmost care. Globy was the one who announced it. I was looking forward to his return. I hope the best for his health uh, and sending love to him. All the best, Bjorn. Hugs. It's sad to hear that Bjorn is graduating. I hope he's able to recover faster now. Now he's stepping away from streaming. Since it was a joint decision, I'm glad his VODs will remain up for his fans and able to reflect on watching again. And here's what people had to say about it. That sucks. I wish Bjorn the best in recovering his health and great future. Ibuki Bjorn's actual Twitter is right here. Now his hiatus on March 12th and uh, March 13th, a JST. Goodbye, Bjorn. Globy's a little less without you. As someone who likes Vikings, it was nice to have a VTuber with that name and sweet and a sweet at that. Is Ibuki as well? Uh, you know, retweeting. He says, "Hey Cubs, sorry to say I have to go on hiatus. Reality is that I'm not okay, and I have to focus on recovering more than anything. Thank you for understanding." So that was um, <clears throat> when he was doing his hiatus back in the day, but now he is doing his actual. Uh, Thing. You know, this is March 12th when it is hiatus. He hasn't retweeted the actual thing right now. Here is Ibuki Bjorn. Let's look at any media that he had. This is his full uh, outfit. He was, it looks like a lion, lion cub, I'm guessing. It looks like he was. Um, polar bear. My bad. My correction. I correct myself and I smack myself. Uh, polar bear VTuber. That is unique. I had not seen a polar bear VTuber before. And I'm sorry that I missed him because, you know, I, it would have been fun probably to see them. So polar bear YouTuber, a VTuber. That's great news on that side. So yeah, it's unfortunate, but yeah, they both. It looks like it was both an announcement for both of them. It looks like they was gotten through 
both of their uh, doing, you know, management and them having negotiations. So I'm glad that it is at least a positive on that end. Unfortunate that it was because of health, and I hope that they do get better. Moving on to a little bit of Hololive news, because I've been covering Nidhi Sanji news for a very long time, but I want to show something of Hololive. This is Sencho, Marine Sencho, Hosho Marine, her new video with Kobo. Here we go. You see the things? They did the freaking, they did the dance. They did the type of dance. The same type of, of, of dance as like the same design and style as Lolly God Requiem. The same style, but it is in their new music video. Go watch it, of course. And look at all this stuff. Holy crap. Look at all this stuff. And remember, with Hollow Life, Hollow Life gives you a loan, gives them a loan for the money needed to make this production. They pay it back at 0% interest for as long as it takes them to pay it back. So Hosho Marine paid out of her own pocket. If she had the money, she pays out of her own pocket. If not, she can get a loan from Hololive, from Hololive themselves, from cover, of uh, like $10,000, $20,000, whatever they need, and then pay it back. And since Hosho Marine makes a lot of money for them, it's 0% interest for every single person in Hololive that wants to get that loan, which is great because they're getting their money back to begin with. They are, a 0% loan means that people are actually going to be doing more projects like this that bring more money to the organization overall so they're smart they're like oh well, we could charge them interest and get more money but in the end we can make more money just by them making more things making more productions making more you know like stuff like this and of course hollow life being the big agency that it is with the connections it has it can connect them with all the artists that they want all the artists that they would ever need for anything that goes on i'm going to remove that because that was very uh as as you can see very um uh, uh M M A M A. It was M A. So we're gonna move that one. But yeah, they can do that. They do that. And it says all this praise is not a single link. Take my head. Watch it here. I've only seen the first ten seconds, and I'm already blown away. Never ever does. And like Shinkiro, if need be, she will even work on the music videos herself. And she does it all to give back to her fans. Even if she never does make any money from it, she's okay with that. And that is what is great about Hollow Life and other agencies. And I hope the Niji Sanji can eventually get to this point, but it's gonna take a while. Sui so say our favorite little comment had a sleepover with uh, Sencho specifically. Um, and I think they had a, a talk because we also have something later. Sui Chan staying over and we're eating ramen together right now. Besides being a tremendously revered idol, Sui say is kind of is kind soul, you know. Her friend was feeling down, so she did something to cheer her up because Sencho was feeling down. And here we have what was happening. Here's what was said. By the way, I recently said I'm going to blank to Sweet Chan and she said, I see you want to be alive if you think you're going to blank for real. Let's go to Fuji Q, which is a, an amusement park. It's an amusement park that has a really fast roller coaster. You want to be alive if you think you're going to blank for real. It has a scary roller coaster, scariest roller coaster in Japan. She said so and she's going to hold, make Marine think I'm going to blank party. So she's going to hold a party to make Marine feel alive. It says, wow, it sounds great. I want to join in that and... Uh, and enjoy. I want to join the club and watch Marine think I'm going to blank. No, no, no. Of course you'll ride it together, right? But Sweet Chan is also scared of roller coasters and so on and so. Uh, someone commented Meathead Clinic. That's totally true. Sounds so Meathead. And that is a good friend. Sweet Chan has yet to find a problem that she couldn't brute force her way through. Truly the strongest Meathead idol. Many people in her shoes would have given up. I know I would. Salute to the Sweet Path. She just crashes through the obstacles in life like shooting star she is. Listen, it's meathead logic, but I totally get the idea behind confront death and realize you are going to live. Sweet Chan surely knows to ride some scary roller coaster even though she's scared of, to, to blank of it. Wasn't she and Miko also forced Fubuki to ride one of them in their trip last month? I think so. So what they're going to do is that they're going to ride a roller coaster so she can feel alive again. And that is good. Like, that's what that's that's what a friend does. A friend helps you feel alive again. And I'm glad that Marine has a friend like Suisei. And even if it's just a coworker, it's still a coworker trying to do these wonderful things for you. And I I, I would absolutely appreciate it if I ever got that chance. Like, if, if someone helped me that way. I do have friends that do that for me. And they are absolutely, immeasurably just amazing and irreplaceable. It was something that still is kind of crazy because it's, again, a bad company doing bad things that bad companies tend to do. The Helldivers update, they've made it so that now you have to link your Steam account to a PlayStation Network account to be temporarily optional. They fixed it because before you actually had to do it in order for you to even use it. It was a new thing that happened. All new Helldivers 2 players on Steam will be required to connect to Steam account to a PlayStation Network account. Current players on Steam will start to see the mandatory login on May 30th and will be required to have a link Steam and PlayStation Network account by June 4th. So they're making it so that they, you have to have a PSN account. Why? I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. If I don't have a PlayStation, if I don't play on PlayStation, why the heck do I need a PSN account? 
Why? I don't get it. I don't get why I would need it. And here's Grums talking about the whole thing. They didn't see it coming. Arrowhead GS community team was not prepped or just incompetent. Community support rep tweeted that Arrowhead is one of the one of who wanted PSN linking in order to be more effectively banned Helldivers accounts, not Sony. The post has since been taken down. She also locked her account. So this is the person saying, hey, this isn't true. Due to overwhelming amount of people trying to link their accounts, the whole login process broke and people couldn't get into the game. Mandatory account linking was disabled 20, 30 minutes after launch. And yet people still couldn't get in. It's a process to force people into an ecosystem when they don't want to because Sony thinks it will make people pay for their products. No, it's to allow us to ban people. That's the sole reason. So you couldn't ban people before? That's a lie. Because it is a lie. Steam allows you to ban people. Steam, you can ban people off of Helldivers through Steam. Steam has that. We could, but this increases the effectiveness of what we can do. Sorry for spamming you. I really appreciate the work you're doing, Misty. But what do you mean with more effectiveness? I'm trying to be open-minded here, so judgment in the question, just curiosity. There are certain legal requirements we have to follow to ban people. This will help us out with that. So they're making it easier to ban people without following the legal requirements is what I'm reading here. Basically, you can do more just random bans, uh, and that's what they want to be able to do. They want to be able to ban people for any reason, because I guess Sony lets them ban it for any reason. That's what I'm taking out of this. I could be wrong, but that's what I'm taking out of this. So, um... Also, dealing with support tickets all day, unfortunately, a lot of people encounter uh, cheaters and harassment, so this will hopefully help us tackle it. Steam has a very robust way of dealing with this, so this is a lie. Steam has a very robust way. Now they protected it. It says, why do they need PSN linking to ban people? Other Steam games never seem to have this problem. Of course, the pronoun and flag. There's documentation with Sony, not Arrowhead. Pronouns, uh, let's see, Arrowhead are owed an explanation. Notice the crescent moon on the, bi on the bio also. Politics of blank and blanks. Uh, pronouns bio every time. I never see so many confessions in one day. They knew it was coming. That's why they hid the warning in between to other things said DRM and most people ignore the small text. Same as skip screen. Nothing said warning. This game will be need PSN in three months. So it, they tried a bait and switch. It tried just to kind of sneak it under and, and make sure that, um, you know, you wouldn't be able to do anything if that happened. And that's not good. That's not good. And that's why I'm calling them out for it. That is all for right now. Of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys. And I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord. There's Twitter. There's other places that you can check me out. Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.